Sam Phillips, otherwise known as the father of rock and roll, is being honored for his contributions to the community and the world, something his son Jerry is very proud of. He always would talk about Florence, Alabama as being his the shoals and being his home, his home and uh, it's very important to him and uh, to have a street named after him uh, here it was a tremendous honor for him and also uh, they gave him his high school diploma which he never got uh, from Coffee High School. David Johnson, the director of the Alabama Music Hall of Fame, says Sam Phillips' contributions to the shoals were just as big as what he did for the world of music. Uh, meant so much to the, not only the Hall of Fame, but the Shoals area. He owned radio stations here, and his family still owns radio stations here. And they give back to this community uh, in, in a big way. And uh, we need to salute Sam and, and uh, the Phillips boys and all that's going on here. Even with all that Sam had given back to the community, his son Jerry is most proud of what his dad's music did for the country as a whole. It broke down a lot of social barriers for, uh, for, for the white and black people together. I mean, music has always been something that uh, was, had successful integration. And uh, his, my dad's legacy goes a lot further than just the music he created. It really, did, it really was a world-changing event. Philip said that one of the things that he's also very proud of is the fact that this community, even several years after his dad's passing, are still reaching out to them and showing them their appreciation for what the father of rock and roll brought to the Shoals. In the Shoals, Ken Conley, Fox 54, 9 o'clock news.